This is Ben from healthfacilitypro.com here today to talk with you about preparing for the CHFM exam. What does CHFM mean? CHFM means Certified Healthcare Facility Manager. The CHFM credential is offered by the American Society for Healthcare Engineering, or ASHI. The ASHI website, www.ashi.org, has current information on the requirements to sit for the exam, how much education and experience is needed, a content outline, exam fees, and other information. For the education and required experience, they offer three tracks for qualifying for the exam. The first track is a bachelor's degree with three years of healthcare experience. The second is an associate degree with five years of healthcare experience. Or the third track, a high school diploma with seven plus years of healthcare experience. So what does healthcare experience mean? ASHI lists six functional areas that qualify. They are facility management, operations and maintenance, clinical engineering, safety and security, planning design and construction, and environmental management. I like to think of three basic backgrounds, which are facilities, design, and construction. The content areas on the CHFM exam are maintenance and operations, code compliance, planning design and construction, finance management, and administration. We like to look at these content areas as maintenance and operations cover facilities and systems, code compliance covers regulations and joint commission compliance, PDC covers designing and constructing space and systems, finance management covers money, sources of money, and the effective use of money, and administration covers the human element that is woven throughout all aspects of healthcare administration. The healthcare experience that you have overlaps with the content areas. So each of the content areas have overlap with the other content areas, but the experience you have will make it natural that you are stronger in one or two of these content areas. For example, if you come from a design background, you would be strongest in planning, design, and construction and code compliance. Or if you're from a facilities background, you'd be strongest in maintenance and operations, but also code compliance and the other three content areas, depending on the position that you have. A construction background would be strongest in planning, design, and construction, but also would have relevance in the other four areas. So the experience you have should affect what you should study. Because each background is different and unique and specialized into the different content areas of the CHFM exam, you will be stronger in one or more of the content areas than others. This is normal. It means that you should be aware of your strengths and of your weaknesses and study with greater focus on your areas of weakness to help them become strengths. To help people prepare for the CHFM exam, ASHI has a list of resources available at the link shown. This list includes courses, codes, best practices, and quite frankly, it can be an overwhelming list. Uh, if you would turn to the CHFM handbook, it gives a more detailed look at what may appear on the exam. This list can also be quite overwhelming as it has over 170 items of their, on their content outline, but this is more specific than the resource list. Of the extensive list of study materials, the most relevant items would be NFPA 99, the Healthcare Facilities Code, NFPA 101, the Life Safety Code, the Joint Commission Accreditation Manuals, as well as business and industry common practices. The codes tell you what to do. If you have access to the handbooks, they give more insight on why things are done the way they are. And the Joint Commission Manuals give insight into the process. What about the math? Most people fear the math on the CHFM exam. Math problems are found within each of the content areas. 
However, they can be an area of focus and study. As you learn the formulas and how to apply them, this can become an area of strength for when you sit down for the exam. The CHFM exam is a difficult exam. For first time takers, the pass rate is less than 50%. The content covered is broad and deep. When you go to the testing center, you will have two hours to take 110 questions, 100 of which are scored. The passing score ranges from about 69 to 71 is the latest information that I've heard. However, you will know before you leave the testing center if you have passed. There are many reasons to get the CHFM certification. It is a great way to bring weight and recognition to a facilities professional that is typically viewed as more of a blue collar position than a white collar one. It brings greater pay and greater personal development. Indeed, the CHFM credential holders are better paid than those without it. The latest salary survey from Health Facilities Management indicates that CHFM holders are paid 21% better than their colleagues without the CHFM credential. Organizations also have reasons requiring the CHFM credential. Most of these are based in risk management. They also are a great way to, to show staff competency. And many healthcare organization leaders come from backgrounds which value education, value credentials, value professional development. Many organizations value professional development and will pay to help you get CHFM certified. These may be reimbursements for your expenses. They will provide education opportunities. Sometimes it's just the exam fee. Sometimes it's also study materials. Most organizations do place a cap on what they offer. Speak with your manager, your HR department for details on what's offered and how to access it. There are three approaches people take when preparing for the CHFM exam. As you study, you will fall into one of these three categories. The first category is all in. These people spend money, they buy books, they take exam prep courses costing several hundreds of dollars. They are all in. The second approach is bare bones. These people do self-directed studying without paying for outside resources. They figure that there are enough resources out there that they can study, they can scrounge up, that will help them prepare. The third approach is a hybrid approach. It's mostly self-directed, but supplemented with content such as practice exams, so that they can rely on those who have gone before to help them study, help them polish their preparations. At Health Facility Pro, we believe we are the best value in CHFM preparation. We have a test bank of over 550 questions. We have test taking tips and test prep strategies. Also, once you pass your exam, we have CHFM maintenance resources and much more. Visit us at healthfacilitypro.com.